please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. The attack in a condo city killed five people. Ayabacho Lucas, an Amazonian leader, claims responsibility for the attack. He published the information on his page. A new twist in the attack of Ekondo Titi, which killed five people including a deputy prefect and a mayor close to Paul Bia. A few days after the tragedy, Ayabacho Lucas claims on his Facebook page to be the author of the attack. The separatist leader of the Amazonia Government Council, AGC, wrote on Twitter, In a joint operation, our forces have eliminated the colonial mayor, the colonial sub-prefect and other people. He also assures that colonialism is a crime against humanity and those affected have the responsibility to resist and defeat it. Stating that he had sworn to maintain such a course of action, he added that the attack was aimed at ending colonialism, which he described as a crime against humanity. Ayabacho Lucas commands the Ambazonia Defense Forces ADF which is one of the separatist militias fighting against the government to create a new country from the English-speaking regions of Cameroon. Unlike other separatist leaders such as the incarcerated Sisiku Ayuktabe, Ayabacho's strategy to achieve independence was one of war and in his positions he often insisted on using the raw option. This is just one of the few cases of the alleged separatist attacks for which he takes responsibility. He admitted no responsibility when gunmen, believed to be separatist fighters, attacked GBHS Egondo Titi, where this recent attack took place and killed four students and teachers. The recent targeting and killing of government officials in the bombing attack is considered by some human rights organizations to be a war crime, given that they were civilians and unlike soldiers, they were not actively participating in the armed conflict. This is the position of the Center for Human Rights and Democracy in Africa, CHRDA, which monitors human rights violations in the Anglophone regions of Cameroon.